It's like going into space. If I'm working on blue planets, I've never even seen a submarine, never mind diving one. You're well aware that actually what you're trying to do is constantly pioneering, you're constantly pushing the boundaries. What inspired me about photography was the ability to share things you'd witnessed. When I was 10, I went on a school trip to Windsor Safari Park. My aunt had lent me her box brownie, which was a little film camera, and the first photograph I ever took was of that orca right up out of the water, hitting its nose on a beach ball. There was something magical about taking that picture. That one moment was frozen there for eternity. Much as I loved art, I was bad at it. So photography suddenly for me was an outlet for the artist in me. It was like somebody opening this massive door into a whole new world. So I've been very fortunate. I've worked on many iconic series you may have seen, like Planet Earth and Life, Life Story. Working in teams around the globe is one of the greatest pleasures, actually. It might look like I'm doing everything, but for instance, in this submarine, there's a team of about nine or 10 people around me that enable me to be able to film at the bottom of the ocean. To go to the depths of a thousand meters is way, way more complex than sending even a you know, space shuttle into space. It's probably the most rugged habitat on our planet. It's always an exciting place to be able to see. Well, the lights of the sub will only reach eight to 10 meters. So maybe what we can do is, if we dive in both subs, we can use the deep rover as a lighting platform yep. and actually be able to backlight some of this stuff. I think one of the visuals which I was really pleased with is the second submarine on the opposite side of the brine pool with its light shining down, backlighting the mist of brine, almost like a witch's cauldron. It's just extraordinary. On the surface, the oceans always look beautiful. You see waves and all this of it, but it's all the hidden stuff underneath. In a way, you think, oh, why are we so excited by traveling to Mars when under our feet we've got things we've never seen before? I think it's really exciting that there's still a massive part of this planet that we know nothing about. There's somewhere still yet to explore. <laughs>